And for more on the concerns over vaping, we're joined by Dr. Brad Radu, professor of medicine at the University of Louisville. So doctor, I wanna get your take. Are e-cigarettes less or more or as dangerous as regular cigarettes? Well, I agree with the one commentator. E-cigarettes have been shown by the Royal College of Physicians, one of the most prestigious medical societies in the world, to be no more than 5% as hazardous as smoking cigarettes. I mean, They're a lot They're clearly less hazardous. So a lot of people who do vape say that the people who are getting sick or who have died uh, were using either counterfeit products or we heard in the story THC. Um, what do you say to that? Oh, absolutely. There's no question because millions of vapors have used the standard products for over a decade and there's been no reports of any incidents. So we're looking at an outbreak that has to be due to an adulterated substance in these vaping products. What do you make on the U.S. government response and this sort of um, outrage that's happening across the country all of a sudden? It seems like all of a sudden. Well, it seems that most of the moral panic is based on youth use. And very clearly, too many children are experimenting with e-cigarettes and that has to be curtailed. There's no question about that. No one disagrees with that. Are you surprised? But even, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Well, even the epidemic, though, has been exaggerated. The CDC has said that 3.1 million high school kids used e-cigarettes in 2018. That's true. I've looked at the data. But 600,000 of those high school students were an a legal age to be able to buy e-cigarettes. And of the 2.5 million underage students, there were a lot who were already experimenting with smoking products, with other tobacco products. So it's not a new and distinct epidemic. It's part of a broader epidemic that we need to take care of. Kids shouldn't be using any substance for adults. That includes alcohol and marijuana, which have been used at epidemic rates for the past 30 years. You ran through some numbers there. How does that compare to the number of underage students, teenagers that are smoking illegally um, compared to, you know, cigarettes? Well, that's another myth that you hear that electronic cigarette use will lead to smoking. And in fact, since the advent of electronic cigarette experimentation, smoking rates have continued to plummet at record rates. We now have the lowest cigarette smoking rate among high schoolers in the US ever recorded. So clearly, kids are moving away from smoke products and those are the most dangerous. And doctor, for adults who are, who've been trying to use e-cigarettes to stop smoking, is this still a way to do that, to walk away once and for all? Well, there's no question about it because these products are vastly safer. Now, smokers should stick with conventional uh, cigarette e-cigarette products and other conventional smoke-free alternatives to combustible cigarettes. Don't buy products on the street. Don't buy adulterated products. Don't use it for marijuana. Dr. Bradley, thank you so much for joining us from Louisville, Kentucky.